All right, welcome back to Low Rollers Craps. Uh, straight back from Vegas. Uh, got back a couple of days ago and had a really good time. I took my brother with us. We stayed at the Cal right off of Fremont Street and enjoyed playing in the Fremont the most and a little bit in Golden Nugget. Um, and so I was just throwing the dice and of course I was doing well and not recording. So I thought I'd turn the camera on. Uh, these little pair of dice came from one of the Cal's gift shops, and they were only 50 cents for table plate dice with the logo and the little stamp, and they've got a little pock mark on them. Um, but they're really good dice. They're the same as the dice that I got for 15 bucks on Amazon. So uh, I got six of these for $1.50. So anyway, I think what we learned a lot, we played really well in the Fremont, and um, I think what we learned is the, the $5 minimum is really good for you know, being able to have a low minimum if you want, and um, but you really do have to push the bets up to do anything. We played for a long time. One of the nights we were there from about 7.30 p.m., maybe it was 8.30 till about 3.30 in the morning, and both came out ahead, not a lot, actually only just a couple hundred bucks because you're playing such low stakes, um, and it's somewhat back and forth. Um, so anyway, since I've been home, I've been trying to push that up. Of course, that was our first time playing for real and playing in Las Vegas is we're playing pretty conservatively and really just having a good time. But uh, it does make it even more affordable if you can come back with a little bit. So uh, come out, roll. We'll flip our sixes over and roll them over once or twice. So we were playing, uh, you know, stick right, I suppose it is, for that same thing, for that shortest throw in there. That made a lot of difference. A couple of times we played down the end, I mean, it was really short and fast. I mean, you just couldn't uh, couldn't throw very accurately from there. So, uh, What this also made me realize, which I already knew, six easy, is that this area is just not, of course, to scale. Uh, not even the height and the depth of it. So probably, hopefully, going to tear this back apart and make it wider and uh, longer. So... You know, kind of get a little bit more of a realistic feel for that. So we got a point of six, and what I've been doing this time is just having two units on the six and the eight, and being really bold. Uh, so when we've been home, I had this, and we seventy-five doubled in that, and then today we've up a few plus this. So we're actually doing pretty well with this so far, um, and we'll see. We, we can get wiped out pretty quick, but if a couple of these things can hit, we can pull down, and that's what we did. I wish I was rolling for that because it worked really well. So there's a five, not on the five. Uh, but it was fun playing with the different people and the different characters, and uh, we had really good interactions with all the dealers. There's an eight, easy. Um, they were very helpful, of course, with questions and um, and just friendly to play with. Um, it was definitely fun. Uh, betting with them and occasionally getting one. Six easy. We were playing a lot of uh, twos and twelves. Uh, two way. And then, of course, it was, you know, two way twelve coming back. Said that a bunch of times. There's a seven out. Talking too much, not really paying attention to throw, just slinging them down there. So. Of course, here we are. Pretty old hefty loss there. 50, 60, 75, almost 80 bucks. But it was a blast. And, uh, we'll be doing that again. Here's a seven. And the surface too. I mean the just a much stiffer surface and much wider landing area. And honestly way easier than throwing here. I mean as I anticipated, but it's just it just makes a lot of difference in I think in order to really practice, of course, we got to practice in um, you know, more real type simulation. So 
So let's let's try it again. We're just placing these. So we've got 50, 60, 75, 79 at work here. I mean, don't have any odds. I guess we could put a couple out there. Um, I'm really just hoping that those work for us and we just get a couple of those and get out. And a seven, we're filming. They can't get anything. 0.7 ounce. Can't get a thing. And after a time or two of that, I'd be a little less likely to do it. Well, let's do it one more time. See if we got enough. We're going to have to cut back into our original money. Get one more try. There's two. Maybe not. Seven. Just making it easy, or making it even on this come out roll. There's a seven. Six, easy. Place a ten and a four. And possibly should we buy those? It's probably maybe better. So it looks like we're going to do just one minute there. At least for the time being. And I've been doing sixes on tops with fives facing me. Um, Try four, two, one, four. Had some luck with that. Here's a five. We got a four, two to stay together. And we got a. I guess we got everything to stay together kind of well there. Here's an eight. Oopsie daisy. Sorry about that. Eight easy, so just one unit there. We're gonna press that one up. Four and two, and the one and the four. Four one across the top. Two four showing to me. Nine six three nine. Stay with it. There's ten, ten hard even. And so this one's gonna net us, let's just say, I guess it should be about 48, right? So we'll get this 50, five in there. We'll get three back. So just pulling that one, collecting that. We need a few of these. We've lost, you know, 150 bucks. There's three crepes. But if it gets to five or six rolls, which we're at five, we might pull it down. Here's a five. And my brother did really good. He actually had a 28 roll on one of the first longer sessions we played. And I got a 35 once on the same session. 
and we couldn't really get back to that. We could only manage to get to tens and twelves and stuff after that. But pretty exciting. All of a sudden, you realize with you know, 35 rolls and you weren't on the all tall small, or, and you weren't uh, really pressing anything, so you weren't really making a whole lot. You're having all these rolls, but but it was fun. It's a learning experience. That's kind of why I'm kind of conservative. Just getting our feet wet with it a little bit. And there's a seven. So this is not going so well. And I'm running out of time anyway. So thanks for watching. We'll try this again. We've still got the 75 that we started with. So we're still somewhat good. But we lost basically everything I put together in the past couple sessions. So take it easy.